GTWS is back with the exhibition season. A very short three round season and tonight we are doing the first round of the Manufacturers Cup. For this season, I've signed up to drive the Dodge Viper. I've driven this car before in the league racing setting, but obviously driving on this such competitive GTWS level is gonna be a whole nother story. So I'm really looking forward to it. Today, we are at Deep Forest Reverse. So, let's get into the first race and see what we can do. All right, first up, qualifying. That's 24.6, acceptable. Let's go again. I think that's supposed to be a minor improvement. Let's see. 24.2, nice, not bad. Oh, I doubt I'm gonna improve on this. Yeah, almost an improvement. All right, all the way down in P11 at the moment. All right, we're down to 12th. So almost all the way at the back, but still only six tenths behind the pole position. All right, in this race, we have to use both hard and soft compounds of tire. So given that we're starting in 12th, I'm gonna start on hards. And from my testing, I'm gonna do nine laps on hards and then nine laps on softs. Well, it's been a while since I heard this. Let's embrace the GTWS racing again. Let's go racing. Viper launch OP. And never mind. Super top speed kicked in. This is a very close pack. And I am quite frankly terrified. I didn't want to. But we've made some. They kind of happened for us. I haven't driven this car on hards since two days ago, so this is a new experience to me. Thankfully, we're not going to spend that much time on them, but I'm struggling quite a bit already. But we are with the pack. For now, that's all that matters. We are only five seconds away from the leading car, so it's not bad. We're still in one piece with the pack. It's all good. Right, so this type of stuff, it looks simple, but it's actually me working for a long time to figure out how to do this stuff. Oh, oh, oh what? I'm sorry? Oh, what? What the hell was that? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know what to say. Uh, we're kind of losing touch with the group ahead, but it's not like it can affect it in any way, shape or form. Gotta stay here and minimize the total racing time. All right, so quite a few cars have made pit stops. We are up into P5. I really want to get onto the softs, but I know if I do it now, they're not gonna survive until the end of the race because mine ability to save tires and, you know, controller having controller tire wear. Probably gonna lose quite a few positions after we make a pit stop, but there's nothing I can do about it. I could risk coming in at the end of this lap. Maybe actually, maybe I should actually do it. Just because otherwise I would lose so, I will lose so much time. Oh, this Suzuki is really struggling for whatever reason. Come on, my guy. Go, go, drive faster. All right, let's get into the pits. 
try to make these soft tires last 10 laps. Okay. Now, out in the 11th. Unfortunate thing that we're not really with anyone to slipstream behind. Ooh. Let's try and make something happen. Alright, that Suzuki is in the pits. He's coming out now. Do we jump him? Yes, we do. Into the top 10 we go. Okay. We're actually catching up with some cars ahead. I wonder why. Doubt they are on hearts. They're certainly on softs. Just don't understand why they're slower all of a sudden. We lost quite a bit to the Suzuki behind. If he goes for it, I'm not going to fight it because I cannot hold him back. He's too fast in a straight line. Now look at the speed of this thing. He should have just sent it. I would not have fought it, but he didn't. Oh, come on, my guy. You had your chance to get past. You lost us so much time. Yeah, there was a lot of time lost. Come on, just send it. Just send it. Just fucking eat it. Okay, well, fair enough. I think he's binned it. And he did, yes. <sighs> okay, well, one less threat from behind, but that was a lot of wasted time. <laughs> Nine tenths behind P9 in a group of three cars. Let's see, maybe we can catch up with them. Final lap. I think we did get a good exit here. Let's compare the Viper top end to the Ferrari top end. We are gonna hold on to P9, which is pretty good. It is pretty good. I'll take it. Nice! That was actually... Quite a good race. Ooh, I was car number 15 in this lobby, so I was pretty much the lowest rated uh, driver out there. Nice. So we finished in ninth. How many points did we get? 237. Yeah, not amazing. Like, not the best race I've ever had, but still pretty decent. All right, let's back out. Um, and let's go again. Let's get ready for qualifying. Okay, that felt like a much better lap. Let's see what it's going to be. Hey, 24-1. This is very good. Let's see where we end up. And I think that's it. I think we are going to be starting in P4. Nice. That's that's a, that's a good result. That's a good qualifying result. All right. Do we start? I think we still start on hards. I think it's still the best way to start on hards. Do eight laps and then switch over to softs. I think I'm going to stick to this plan. I gotta be careful on these hards at the start. I'm not really used to them. I really don't want to lose the top three here. Shit. That is what I meant. There's the center sex behind us who seems a bit optimistic, a bit aggressive. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Okay. <laughs> Thankfully, we didn't lose too much. But we are now with the huge pack of cars, which I would like to not have happened to me. But it's fine. Fuck. Ah. He's gonna get me here. I should probably just let him have it and not fight him too much because the main thing is to avoid this huge pack of cars behind. So we're just gonna sit behind this Jaguar here and hopefully pull away together. And he's already in after five laps. Yeah, Jaguar is very good on tires. That is that is a fact. P9 
P2 is in after six laps. Okay. A lot of cars are in. Okay. We're going to stay out two more laps. I cannot come in earlier than that. My tires are not going to survive. Getting undercut like this by other cars is probably very bad for my race, but there's nothing I can do about it because I simply cannot beat earlier. My softs are not going to last that long, so I have to stay out until the end of lap 8. Alright, into the pits we go. Onto softs. Now I gotta refuel, I'm just gonna have to save a little bit more fuel. Uh, down to P7. P8 even. Well, this sucks. Can we get the VW here? have the other speed yes we sort of do we have the inside again I would have liked to have a bit more road there but it's fine oh the exit come on it's gonna have the slipstream though Whoa, -hoo -hoo! what in the, wow, wow, 10 out of 10, my guy, heads off, what an avoiding action right there, man, inhuman-like reactions, all right, up to P7, let's see if we can do something about P6 here, he doesn't have the slipstream anymore, Whoa, what the hell? Alright, let's try and get P5 at least. If we can, but I'm pretty sure they are slipstreaming each other, which is not gonna help. The gap is still 2.5 seconds. The, the fact that they're slipstreaming each other doesn't really help me. So unless their tires just absolutely disappear in these two laps, there's nothing I can really do about it. Oh, I'm a bit short on fuel. I do have to do a little bit more short shifting on this final lap. Alright, final lap. 1.8 is the gap to the cars ahead. I do have to sh save a little bit more fuel than I am at the moment. Unless they fight fiercely, there's nothing I can do about them. So let's just sit back, be patient, be close, and hope that something happens between these two. Yeah, they're not gonna take each other out, unfortunately. Well, I mean, it's good for overall quality of racing, but unfortunately for me... We don't really have a lot of fuel left. Just get it to mode 6 just to make sure that we'll make it to the end. And there we go, I just ran out before the line. Alright, so that's P6. Started 4th. My hard tie stint was absolutely disgusting. That's why I ended up losing 2 positions. But overall, not that bad good race we had some nice battles but yeah overall an improvement compared to the last race so this is good uh how many points did i get 267 i think it's a minor improvement over what we had in the first race uh but still i usually try to aim for 300 plus points but it's like it's it's the perfect race if i have 300 plus points 267 is still quite good and we had a good race so those two races that we had are quite cool especially the last one with a few overtakes here and there. It was it was pretty cool. And yeah, that is going to do it for tonight. Thank you all for being here once again. You are amazing. Never forget about it. And good night, champ.